Okay, some news coming in after quitting from the post of uh, the uh, administrator to oversee the BCCI affairs. Historian Ramchandra Guha has dropped yet another bombshell. He has taken on the BCCI's big guns and top cricketers detailing the allegations that he makes in a series of claims. It seems that there was a conflict of interest uh, related to the working for the Indian team and uh, the IPL. So that is uh, some information coming in right now. Uh, if you remember, just for the benefit of our viewers, uh, Ramchandra Guha, in fact, quit as a BCCI administrator. He had written to the Supreme Court directly. Now he questions, uh, he has leveled a few questions, making a veiled attack there on Dravid. So some interesting bit of news coming in there on. He's taking on BCCI's big guns and a few other top players. Uh, so some startling revelations coming out there. We're just awaiting more details as to what really is coming out from this uh, entire step taken by Ramchandra Guha, which is why did he resign from the post of the Cricket of Administrators in the first place. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of speculation whether that decision to quit from the post had anything to do with uh, the Kumble Kohli rift. Uh, there was also a lot of news whether Ramchandra Guha in fact wanted the extension of Kumble's contract till the 2019 World Cup and uh, was there a possible fallout. So all sorts of speculation around his decision to quit from the post. So that's the news coming in. We're just waiting for more details. Ramchandra Guha's resignation from the COA has been indeed very, uh, you know, shocking. It came out of the blue. Uh, he wrote to the Supreme Court, a matter that's going to be taken now in the month of July. And uh, from what we heard is that the remaining uh, three administrators were not in the know-how of his decision. But uh, lots of claims now being made by the eminent historian. Ramchandra Guha. Okay, I have with me now consulting editor India Today, Rajdeep Sardesai for more on this. Uh, Rajdeep, there's just a lot of information coming in uh, with regards to his decision to quit uh, as a BCCI administrator. So just why did he decide to quit from the post? Look, there are a variety of reasons uh, uh, there, Avantika. I think uh, primarily he has had a lot of difference of opinion with the way the committee of uh, administrators has been functioning. Mm -hmm. uh, there have been uh, differences at the personal level with uh, the chairman of the committee, Mr. Vinod Rai, and his style of functioning as Mr. Gua sees it. And as you will see in the letter that he has drafted, he's raised about seven to eight issues primarily to deal with uh, the concept of conflict of interest, where he believes that certain players using their star power have been getting away and the committee of administrators has not clamped down on it nor has it done enough uh, in uh, line with the loda panel recommendations mm -hmm. to actually get the board to uh, remove some of those uh, issues of conflict of interest which he believe were central to the committee's functioning so okay. i think there are a variety of reasons that uh, reflect uh, his uh, decision to uh, to resign from the board uh, his critics are saying that he didn't have enough time uh, for the board's functioning, that uh, he uh, was not aware of the financial issues which were confronting the board. Mr. Guar seems to have taken uh, right. the line that there are principled issues which on which he okay. is not willing to compromise okay. at this stage. All right. Uh, Rajdeep, thanks so much for speaking to us. You know, we will come back to the story.